Just yesterday, we were talking about why I liked the hiring of Ron Cooper so much. And less than a day later, we're back talking about Alabama and Nick Saban hiring Mark Orfei. And in my process of figuring out who Mark Orfei was, because I really didn't know anything about him, I found out something that makes me really excited, and we've got to get into it. But before we do, as always, y'all know the drill. I want to hear from y'all. So hop down to the comments and give me a Y for yes or an N for no. Do you believe that Nick Saban has found a young up-and-comer in Mark Orfei? And let me know why. If you're new to the the channel, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification because I do constant college football content, player reviews, film analysis, talk style videos like this, and I'm on my push to 5,000 subscribers within my first year of having a channel, and I'd love to have you along for the journey. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to like and comment down below because that really does go a long ways in helping content creators like myself get picked up by the algorithm. But with all that being said, let's jump straight into Mark Orfei, and this isn't going to be a long video. This was just something that was just recently announced within the past hour, and maybe made me really excited when I was kind of digging into who Mark Orfei was, and I really wanted to talk about it. But first and foremost, let's talk about where he came from. And he came from programs such as Montana State, Utah State, which was his last program, and he was always working with defensive backs. Even his time spent in college where he played defensive back, and then he went on to be a graduate assistant for a time at South Carolina. Now, when he was at South Carolina, South Carolina had a lot of success in the defensive backfield. And once again, not attributing it to Mark Orfei, it's just he was there and that experience really helped him and was highly regarded in some of the interviews I was watching when they were asking him about when he was hired at Montana State and subsequently at Utah State. They brought up that experience of his quite a bit. One of the things I found incredibly interesting when looking into Mark Orfei He's from Texas, and I keep talking about how Texas is so littered with talent this season in particular. It always is, but this year in particular, loaded, loaded with a lot of top talent. And, you know, when we talked yesterday, we add in a Ron Cooper who spent time at LSU, and when he was at LSU was part of the defensive coaching staff that coached Patrick Peterson, Tyron Matthew. I mean, so many guys that were just paramount to establishing LSU as a defensive mantra. Now, I'm not saying that LSU didn't have great defenses before that, but having guys such as Tyron Matthew, Morris Claiborne, Patrick Peterson, that really stepped it up another notch and established LSU as one of the most feared secondary units in all of college football. Now, while Mark Orfei may not have the experience coaching that a Ron Cooper has, here's what makes it so interesting, and it's something I talked about with Ron Cooper. You remember yesterday when I talked about with Ron Cooper and I said that something like this, a hiring of a guy like this, could help Alabama in their pitch for Denver Harris. Even if Cooper is just an analyst, it's the thing of saying, we have somebody on our staff who helped coach Patrick Peterson, who coached Morris Claiborne, who coached Tyron Matthew, who understands how to be successful, and he's going to be scheming and figuring out, along with Nick Saban and along with the plethora of other great coaches, how to put you in the best position possible. The reason why I like Mark Orfei so much is because one of the prospects I'm the highest on in this next cycle, and y'all have heard me talk about him a lot, I've t made a video talking about his top four, and he's a guy that I really hope my Crimson Tide get, Denver Harris. Now, it is going to come down to the wire for Denver Harris. But one of the things we've talked about with Denver Harris is not only his incredible athletic ability, but he comes from a high school that is super polished, Galena Park North Shore. And they are unbelievably good, right? Anybody who knows high school football knows Galena Park North Shore. And as I was digging through Mark Orfei, the thing I found most interesting was where he went to high school. Galena Park North Shore. Alabama just hired a guy who's considered a young up-and-comer in the defensive secondary and his high school, Galena Park North Shore. This makes me incredibly excited because even if he's not recruiting, even if he's just an analyst, they get to use a pitch to Denver Harris saying, not only do we have Nick Saban, who is a defensive back guru, not only is this the University of Alabama, you stay for three years, you're going to win a national championship on average. Not only is this Bama, they pump out first rounders. Aside from all that, not only do they have all of that, a great new strength and conditioning program, uh, unbelievable what those guys are doing. I mean, absolutely unbelievable. But then you add into the equation a guy like Ron Cooper, who coached Patrick Peterson, Morris Claiborne, Tyron Matthew, and now you add in Mark Orfei, another guy who you can say is going to be scheming to put you in the best place possible who not only is from the state of Texas, is from the city of Houston, 
went to the same high school as Denver Harris, one of the top guys in the nation for the class of 2022. This is what makes me so excited. And furthermore, when I looked at his alumni profile on North Shore's website, it was talking about how he wants to go back and at some point be the head coach of Galena Park North Shore. So you know already that they are going to be pumping the connection for Alabama that they have Mark Orfe to North Shore. This is, in my opinion, a great hire because he is considered a young up-and-comer. He will be giving a lot of great game planning. He has coaching experience both on-field and more in an assistant and analyst capacity. He's coached in the SEC before. He's played the position. He was really highly regarded both at Montana State and Utah State. And not only all of that, he's from the state of Texas and from the same high school as one of the top cornerback prospects in all of high school football and personally one of my favorite prospects in the nation a guy I really hope Alabama gets and that you have to say this certainly doesn't hurt Alabama's chances Nick Saban's really out here playing chess while y'all are playing checkers and it's starting to show that's it see ya